So I just want to show you real quick the things that the RoboCaster controller emulator for MIDI Designer does. So it's got a copy of pretty much every control that's on the RoboCaster, um, but they're all virtual. So you got the uh, the buttons that I love a lot that do pitch shifting. <laughs> Uh, you got a touch strip that emulates the joystick that I use for pitch bending. Um, there's volume control, very exciting. But more exciting, there's a volume punch, so you can uh, punch the volume up to maximum, plus a little bump, no matter where it is. There's two touch strips that I use for filters, different, um, there's actually a pretty complex effects chain going on there, but essentially different kinds of filters. And those will also punch up the volume, so if the volume down, you can punch um, and filter at the same time. Super fun. And there's the overdrive, which uh, actually controls a whole bunch of effects, um, but it's fun because it goes seamlessly from like a really clean sound um, to like a little bit of grit for bluesy type stuff to high gain. Um, to high gain with loads of sustain, which I use for all the kind of tapping stuff that I do, where I'm tapping with one hand and then playing all these controls with the other hand. So, high gain with lots of compression. Um, I've got these uh, three-way switches on the RoboCaster, which I've actually emulated pretty well with MIDI Designer. So these I keep in the center for no effect, and then in one direction here you get a Leslie Simulator. In the other direction you get a Step Filter. And um, the other one over here has an uh, Envelope Filter. And it's got a looper in the other direction, it just kind of loops two bars and repeats that and so you turn it off. So I use that to do these kind of like layered, quick layered um, canon type things where I'll play the bottom line, play, play a line on top of that. So you can do looping like that. Um, there's sort of a bit crusher effect here. If you want to do lo-fi stuff, uh, there's an echo that goes through a whole bunch of different echo presets. From less intense to more intense, and then this really specific one that I use for certain songs. Which is just like a single echo with a lot of volume. Uh, and then the all motion sensors are built in here too, so you can turn this on. And um, I've got my iPad tilted, so it's gonna kick in right away, but... Uh, you move it in one axis and you get that effect, you move it in the other and you get this chopper. Um, which is just what I do with the tilting of the neck and the body of the RoboCaster. And then last but not least, there's a, a touchpad on the RoboCaster, which I've made here with an XY pad, which lets you do little stutter effects. And um, all this stuff will sync up to the tempo of, uh, of whatever software you're using. Right now I'm just... Right now I'm just running Guitar Rig by itself, so um, the tempo is just whatever Guitar Rig's tempo is, but I usually use Guitar Rig inside of Ableton, so it automatically syncs up to the tempo of that host, and that means the stuttering and the echo and the step filters and all these different effects uh, will sync up with the tempo of whatever music I'm playing, and it makes all these effects uh, a lot more musical, and um, yeah, you can combine them to do um, some pretty tricky and awesome things. So yeah, I hope you get a chance to check out MIDI Designer and Visionary Instruments, who makes the RoboCaster and Guitar Rig, made by Native Instruments, and maybe even me, Moldover. I'm at moldover.com and patreon.com slash moldover. Thanks.